Well, Tim Witherspoon, it's really good to see you here at the Bristol Sporting Club. Uh, I know you're a very popular guest here um, yeah. because you're always larger than life, aren't you? Yeah. This is second time around, and again, and again, I'm I'm a, I'm a part of uh, something that's positive, and and that's what I want to be. Anytime it's something positive, I want to be a part of it. Invite me over, and let's get it on. Because these guys, they're, they're young guys, a lot of them, they're just on their way up in amateur yeah. boxing. And, and to have this sort of experience, it must be good for them, mustn't it? Yeah, I have, yes. Yes, it is. And I, um, they should have a lot of amateur shows all around because it does keep children off the street and keep them motivated. But I have seen some good talent here tonight, and especially the last fight tonight. was a really, I was really impressed with that, that young fighter, Akeem. Uh, Brown, I think his name is. I was really impressed with him. And he's 17, but they were saying to him he don't come in and train all the time, and 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 um he be in the street sometimes. So I seen him and I said, look, you could be real positive. You can help a whole lot of people out. Stay off them streets. Go out there and train. And I think I might have changed a little bit. I might have, because he looked real good tonight, and he got two knockouts, two knockouts and um two fights. I couldn't believe he only had two fights. So so I, it is all kids out in this world like him. We need to get them kids and save their lives. And in this country, of course, the Olympics were great for us in boxing and in lots of other sports, in boxing in particular. So that can be an inspiration for these guys and even the younger ones, can't they? Yeah, it should. And, and then you got you got Nicola Adams. She won the first woman, uh, the first woman boxer to win a gold medal. And it just it just um, and, and it just enhanced a lot of things as far as boxing in this country. I was here when the Olympics was going on. I didn't. I wasn't invited to go to the to the fights, but I was watching them. And I seen all the excitement outside the ring. Not the fighters itself. All the people, all the British people, were really overwhelmed and happy about the Olympics being there. And the fights really took off. I got a uh, the heavyweight. He Anthony won. Joshua. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I seen him the other day in Sheffield, coming out of Sheffield in the train station. He said, "He said, champ, could I help you with your luggage? Right, I have my little daughter." And I said, "I said, no. Get your ticket. Get your ticket. I'm gonna go on this platform. You know, stuff like that. You can't." You can't, uh, you can't ask for nothing better than that. Anthony Joshua, of course, everybody was saying oh, he's, he's a gold medalist, he'll turn pro. He's decided not to. Is that the right decision? Uh, I think that he should have turned pro. When he's 23, he'll be 26. No, he'll be 27, the next Olympics. I think he should have turned pro. Um, I heard, when, I heard, when, I heard, um, when I heard them say that, I said no. I said, you know, and plus the amateurs are got their own little way of doing things. But professional, I mean, everybody's doing what they want to do, like boxing. But amateurs, you isolate it. You got to do amateur stuff. And why would a big, powerful young man, nice-looking guy who's got ability, just stay down? Let somebody else win that gold medal. Go on and be heavyweight boxing champ of the world. I think that he should turn pro. Who who knows if the Olympics go, uh, if it's going to be around for him later? You know, so I think me, I think that he should have turned pro, got a real good trainer, and start making money and help people out. There are two other people who've been Olympic medalists. There's David Price and there's Audley Harrison, and of course they met yeah, and Price knocked yeah, him out. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. What, what did you think of all that? Well, well, um, um, with David, as far, far as them being boxers and stuff like that, um, well, David Price is a is a basic, nice gentleman. Um, no, no disrespect. He he knows what the goal is to get to. He knows how to get to that goal. Um, um, you know, it's up to him and his team to just do the right things. And I think he'll make that goal. Um, Arlie Harrison, uh, on the other hand, you know, he had problems with um, when he when he left the Olympics. He had a problem with being a manager and a fighter and all that together. You cannot be a manager and a, and a boxer managing yourself. And you can't do business and boxing at the same time. You're bound to fail. So I think that was one of his problems. Uh, even though he's a good brother, I like him and I like and I, and I know David. David Price, he's a real good gentleman, and I hope he wins the championship of the world. Um, and we'll wait and see down the line. And should that be it for Audley now? I, I think so. I think so. I think that he went, he ran his he ran his uh, welcome out. Not far as being a bad person, but he did what he had to do. Um, 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 you know, he said what he had to say. I think a lot of people tired of hearing him. I think there's people that would like to see him fight. I think he should hang it up, let some more younger people come up and just take their stand in the boxing game. A final question, because loads of people want your autograph. Here. <laughs> I'm, I'm, we're keeping them all waiting. Well, David Price, you said, can go on and be the world champion. David Price against Tyson Fury, is that going to well, happen? What would happen there? Well, well 
Well, I think, listen, this is what happened, and everybody knows it, that um, Tyson Fury refused to fight uh, David Price. Now, economically, I don't think that, I, don't, I, I mean, I don't think that at that time that you want to make big money. You can wait for that fight. But then it also sends another message out. Why didn't you even respond saying, yeah, I'll fight you or something like that? Um, you know, uh, um, Tyson Fury backed out of it, I think because of the business part of it. His people advised him to back out. I don't know if he wanted to fight him or not. Maybe it's too soon, you know. But now it could be a bigger fight, couldn't it? I think it could be a big, I know it is going to be a bigger fight. Um, I, th I think that um, I think that the um, the David Hay and Azura, Azura fight, the, the British Boxing Board should have took that fight so it could be an English fight, a British fight, because it wasn't sanctioned by the British Boxing Board. They could have did a whole lot with that big fight over there in that uh, in that club, whatever. They could have did a whole lot of things with that, you know, make it positive by, hey, find them guys, find them some money, but let them still fight. That's what I think they should have did. But Tyson Fury, um, I think, I think Tyson Fury needs somebody in his corner that's a senior guy that he'll listen to. He does play around a lot. He is a good boxer. You can't take nothing from him. But he but he plays around a lot and he showboats. But you gotta back that up. David Price is a stand-up, basic, I'm ready to fight, no playing type of guy. So I think it's gonna be a good fight. I'm waiting to see it myself. And in a word, Price, will he win? <laughs> Will Price win? I, I'm not going to say that who's going to win. Tyson Fury does has a little, uh, a little classy, but David Price stick to the game and and he's strong. He's a good guy. Everybody loves him. Everybody, but a lot of people talk about, about uh, talk about Tyson, but everybody loves Daisy because he David because he's a perfect gentleman. Tyson's a gentleman too, but he plays a lot, but he's going to have to back it up. That that guy from Eastern European dropped him. So you got to back up what you play. So what's wrong with boxing is they need a lot of senior people, boxers. I'm not saying like me, but they need a lot of senior ex-fighters that have experience in their corners. You got David Hay with Adam Booth. That's my friend. But Adam Booth really never fought before. David Hay don't really listen to him if you ask me. But you need, you need these guys out here with experience to help these young guys not make mistakes. But you don't have that no more these days. You don't have a lot of senior ex-guys, Joe Frazier, Muhammad Ali, Willie the Worm Monroe. You, the list goes on and on. Um, Marvin Hagler, um, 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 Alan Minter. This is what boxing needs. And the, and the television countries need, the television stations need to bring these guys back to get their opinion about boxing. Because boxing is an art. They know the art, these young guys, haven't painted their picture, their whole picture yet. They're just painting a little bit of it. So this is a commentating. If you get them commentating, you don't get the whole picture, like Marvin Hagler or somebody. So this is what's missing, in, and I think missing, and I think that that's what we need to do. Get some of the old guys back to help the younger guys out. Well, Tim, it's really always good hearing your opinions. Thank you very much. Look forward to seeing Thank you the you. next time. I Thank need you. a check. That's what I need. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm just Thank you very Thanks much. Thanks very much, Tim. Thank you. All the best.